Hello everyone, Argzy here. It is Fact Sheet Friday number two for Farming Simulator 25. Now today we have got five different brands represented, including one new brand for Farming Simulator, seven different pieces of equipment, as well as a couple of other items which were revealed during the Water Buffalo blog, which we will check out as well. So let's go take a look. So first up, this piece of equipment requires no introduction and has been seen quite a lot through the reveal trailers and information released. So far it is the Macdon M1240 Swaffer and in here we see it paired with the Macdon D140XL Draper header. Now just a reminder that the Macdon is part of the pre-order bonuses so if you do want to get your hands on this you will need to pre-order the game. Of course, for any reminder, use the code ARXYGAMING if you're doing that through the Giant store to help support the channel and get us to being a silver partner with Giants. But back onto the Windrower, it is $170,000, has a configurable horsepower there, 173 to 262 horsepower. So I'm assuming we're going to see a couple of uh, configuration options there for the engine type. Transmission is a variable CVT, 518 litre diesel tank, running speed there on the road of 45 kilometres an hour and weighs 6.1 tonne. Now as we look down at the header you'll notice that the working speed of this is governed by the header. So this header D140XL is a 12.2 metre wide or probably a 40 foot wide draper header. Comes in at $97,000 so almost half or more than half the price of the swather itself. Weighs in at 2.8 tonnes, so again, very, very heavy. But the working speed there, 15 kilometres per hour or 9 miles per hour. So a pretty decent clip. And for the first time, we have seen the crops that are swappable confirmed. So we do have our wheat, barley, oats, canola and soybeans. I'm a little bit surprised to see soybeans there. I can't say I've heard of those being swathed before, but uh, someone can prove me wrong. It may be something that's done quite commonly in the States. Definitely heard of the other four being swathed though. So... There we are, that is the Macdon M1240 Swather with the D140XL draper header on the front. Now the next piece of equipment we've also seen is the Case IHAF11 Combine Harvester. It is a $740,000 machine pushing out 775 horsepower through a variable CVT transmission. It can carry 1500 litres of diesel so you'd be able to run through the field for quite some time. Once again, 30 km per hour road speed or 18 miles and again the speed of harvesting is governed there by the header and we'll look at that in a second. Storage capacity in the hopper is 20,000 litres so it doesn't look like there would be any configuration options there for different hopper types and weighs in there at a hefty 25.9 tonne so ground deformation will be interesting with this machine. And on the front of the combine we see a 4418N corn header. Now this is an 18 row header as denoted there by the numbering convention for the model number. It is $88,000 10 metres wide and will harvest corn and sunflowers at a speed of 10 kilometres or 6 miles per hour. The header weighs in at 4 tonne. Now interestingly looking at the second image there you can see that this does not fold. It's not a folding corn header. However looking on the case website there is a 44 series model which will fold. So whether that's a larger model that's the folding one or whether we might see some more variations in that, I guess time will tell. We'll just have to wait till the game's released or we see some more fact sheets which cover that. The John Deere 3650 was revealed in the River Bender Springs blog. It is a $45,000 tractor, 116 horsepower, running a manual and power shift transmission at a maximum speed of 35 kilometers or 21 miles per hour. It has a 118 litre diesel tank and will weigh in at 5 tonnes. On the back of the 3650 we see the Great Plains Solid Stand 1500 Cedar. It is a $49,500 Cedar. Requires 110 horsepower to pull it, so the 3650 is only just powerful enough. Hopper capacity of 1270 to 1800 litres. Now I'm going to guess because it will put down both seed and fertiliser. The 1270 may be the seed capacity with the remaining 530 being your fertiliser, but we don't know that. I'm just speculating a little bit there. Planting width of 4.6 metres at 12 kilometres or 7 miles per hour planting speed. The total weight is 1.6 tonne and it will plant the different crops we can see down the bottom there. Wheat, barley, oats, canola, long grain rice, oilseed radish, grass. Question mark crop whether that's peas or beans. My guess is going to be peas rather than beans but uh, time will tell there with that. And of course the spinach. Now the other thing to notice here is the weight on the front of the tractor. Uh, it looks to be a John Deere weight to me but nothing branded on it to confirm that. I also notice the uh, driver sitting there looks to be very well kitted out in some John Deere clothing including hat and overalls so uh, good to see we're getting a return of some of that branded clothing coming through into Farming Simulator 25. 
And the last fact sheet brings a new brand to Farming Simulator 25 Agri Fact with their Condor Endurance 2 self propelled sprayers. Now, taking a quick look at their website, they uh, just seem to make crop sprayers, and there's five different models all called Condor. We've got the Condor Original, Condor Clearance, which is for high crops, the Condor Mountain Master for hilly areas, the Condor Vanguard, which has extra capacity, and then lastly the Condor Endurance, which has extreme capacity, and that is what we have here in-game. So taking a look at the details and the facts for it, it is a $420,500 sprayer, it has an 400 horsepower engine, and again a variable CVT transmission. Diesel storage or diesel tank of 750 litres, but that top speed is pretty impressive, 60 kilometres or 37 miles per hour, as is the speed it will spray at, which is 25 kilometres or 15 miles per hour. The storage capacity is 8,000 litres in the back in the tanks, it weighs in at 14.6 tonne, and another impressive, impressive fact there is the uh, width of the booms, 36 up to 54 metre wide boom, so you could certainly get through some fields pretty quickly with that 54 metre wide width. And as you can see from the fill types there, it will put on our liquid fertilizer or your herbicide. So there we have it, that is the fact sheets we had today for the second fact sheet Friday. As I mentioned at the start, we did see a couple of other pieces of equipment during the week uh, revealed in the Water Buffalo blog. First up, the Kubota SVL972 skid steer loader. Now this is a returning piece of equipment that was released in the Kubota DLC. So once again, good to see some of that DLC equipment coming through into the base game for FS25. And secondly was the Junkin Reich EFGS50 forklift, once again a piece of equipment that is available in Farming Simulator 22 and looks to be returning again for Farming Simulator 25. So there we go, that is all for today. Uh, just obviously a reminder, the game is available to pre-order, you can do that through the Giants store as well as a several other retailers, Steam, Epic Games, etc. But if you are purchasing it through the Giants store, you can use our partner code ARGSY Gaming at the checkout to help support the channel and help me reach silver partner status with Giants, which would be an awesome achievement for FS25 releases. So I hope you've all found that informative and useful. As always, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.